Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again within the Cursed Estate and we are jumping into what could be a pretty interesting mission. We're jumping into a long mission here for something that is absurdly good. The otherworldly bell here. Essentially, this looks like a very, very, very good trinket for, su for sustain. As long as you have someone with really high base damage and you can offset that minus 15%. But that sounds like that could be very very useful um i'm thinking like urku hamurabi guy uh there's gonna be a lot of people that will benefit from that trinket a lot so i'm, I'm really excited to use that and we're actually going with a team that uh, full of people that i haven't really used in a while ryan and dismas they've um they've had their differences but recently um dismas set out to make amends he set out to to try and try and be the bigger man and make up for what he did to ryan's family all that time ago over a year ago now but ryan still holds his grudge dismas has made attempts to make it up to him and this is going to be one of those times he's going to head out there with him and hopefully this will bring them a little closer or if not closer at least hopefully um bring them bring them to a more neutral state rather than the uh the deep hatred that's uh that's filled ryan's heart and the complete and utter distraught that dismas feels for what he's done uh we've also got nina a grave robber here uh coming along and we've also got Zwayne. we haven't brought Zwayne out in quite a while uh trinket wise nina is going full crit with a 20 base crit chance crazy crazy stuff um then we've got dismus of course with his parrying dagger and sharpening sheath for the really good crit on his repost as well as extra repost damage and bleed chance his bleed chance is insanely high uh, so we can use open vein every now and again uh, then along with that, we've got this here, the spear thrust for the extra bleed. But the main reason that this that this whole this whole build really works, in fact, I'm going to make sure we've got flak shot on here. The whole reason this build really works, I haven't actually talked about his trinkets either, uh, is that Nina has her lunge and shadow fade. Uh, Dismas has his duelist advance and uh, point blank shot, and Zwayne has his visceral attack, rallying slash, and flak shot, which. Should should make for a very movable comp and I'm uh, pretty excited for this I think it should work quite well as well as like, Nina having things like armor piercing and stuff uh, so Wayne is rocking a pretty uh, easy one here the uh, cherished keepsake just for that little bit of pro and stress reduction as well as a nice little uh, bit of extra with the fond memory there on kill all heroes will stress minus two five percent chance not huge but it's a little bit of stress relief then we've got um, the Sun here as well that's gonna up his speed to really really high levels um, which I'm hoping essentially means he gets to go first out of our group here. He does have the highest, although Nina is close behind. Because if he can start with a rallying slash, healing at the start of combat, as well as activating a repost very early, I think um, could be really nice. Uh, and then Ryan here has the junior head and the silver syringe for the insane 65% healing bonus. Insane. So that's going to be very, very nice. Um, unfortunately, as you can see, we do have some bad things here um, in terms of some of our negative quirks, but we should be okay here. Uh, and in terms of camping skills, I think we do have a prevent nighttime ambush. We have a remove disease here, which is rather nice. Um, let's have a little look around. Yeah, there you go. Prevent nighttime ambush right there. That's what the sort of thing we want to see. Zwayne here. I haven't actually had a look at Zwayne, so we might want to change these out. Uh, so we've got heal for 40%, doesn't really help too much. Prevent nighttime ambush, that's actually a really good one there. Um, 20% damage versus beast, I don't think that really helps. And one companion with extra range. Okay, a lot of those don't really matter too much to us, but that, that's that's nice enough, I suppose. Uh, how does this compare to dismisses, by the way? So we've got minus 20 chance party surprise and plus 20 monster. Minus 20. We could stack those. I know that they're both prevent nighttime ambushes, but stacking those for four combats of insane surprise chance is actually pretty beneficial. This is going to be a long mission, so we don't have any alternate bosses that we can come across, but I think this group is going to go really well. I, I'm, I'm, I'm very hopeful for this... Uh, 
this bundle of guys and gals. Uh, let's make sure we buy pretty much everything here. We can, we'll can. we take um, seven shovels. This is a long mission, so we'll take eight of them. Eight of them. We'll take a lot of them because you, know, you end up finding a lot of them. Eight of them. Eight of them. We are going to get some howls in here as well, so we'll take four of them. We'll take all of that we can. Uh, we also, this this is actually, I was wondering about this on our previous episode, we can take this and use it whenever we want. Very good to know. I, I, I will actually end up using that at some point, not sure what for yet, but I'm sure we will. So let's embark on and start this journey. I think this could end up being a very, very good little uh, build that we've got going on here. I think this could... This could be something something quite beautiful. Uh, the one thing that has me a little worried is our healing is a little rocky because obviously we're relying on Ryan. I mean, he does have an insane bonus to his healing, so he should be able to heal for a lot when he does. But the thing is, he can heal for zero or very low amounts and inflict a bleed as well. So there is problems with that and we don't have anywhere to get rid of that. This is a very, very long one, but we will see. Uh, I think I think this crew is going to be very good. One thing I didn't do here, actually, is we'll go into this now. We, we do have some diary entries here. Uh, first one here is for uh, um, Eucasterian Benjamin by Tia. I have finally reunited with my brother after all these years. So sad to know that I would not I would not have recognised him if he'd not have said anything. They had changed. They were a monster, just like all the other nobles. I didn't want to think it was true, but I should have seen it from the very beginning. My brother served as a warrior of the light for glory. Not because it was faithful, not because he wanted to help the world. Uh, just because he wanted to help the world. Um, it still fights for us, which is all I can be thankful for. But soon, I will have to take responsibility and rid of this creature. It was my brother, after all. Ooh. Damn. I wasn't expecting that. That's interesting. Very interesting indeed. Oh, Dismas. Straight on the trap there. Um, and a bit of a bleed as well. Do we get rid of the bleed? I'm not going to get rid of that bleed. We can we can sustain the damage. It's not terrible. Right. Surprise, he is great. Uh, that sets us up nicely. And this is exactly what we want. We get in there with this. Activates a repost here. It heals them up. We don't really need the heal, but the, the repulse itself is really good. Uh, you have prot, so pick to the face here. It's going to be very, very nice. We're hoping for crits, but we're not always going to get them. Um, you can pick to the face from there. Yes, you can. Good. So now we do that. Now we've got two repulse set up here, which is awesome. Um... We are going to be getting debuffs here, which is why I brought all of this. Uh, this is because of his severe mood swings. Uh, we're going to be, we're also going to be getting bonuses from that too. But yeah, we're going to want to get rid of them every now and again. I think here we go for the pull and pull you out of position. Uh, unfortunately, you can still stress, but you did miss, which is rather nice. Ooh, I did not know that his um, repost also makes him heal on the repost as well. That's very nice. Good thing about having these two up front is we're going to be getting a lot of reposts. A lot of repose here. Um, his flak shot's going to knock him back a little bit. Uh, Duelist advance can't be done from position one. So... Hmm. We could just... let's Yeah, let's just do that and go for the finish. Um... Do we go for the lunge or the pick? I think we go for the lunge and just try and hit you. I would rather that. Um, and then... Hmm. Yeah, let's go for this. It still does a lot of damage. It still does a lot of damage anyways, so I'm happy to have it. Um, let's lower your pro and damage. You can deal a lot of damage in a single hit if you get a crit, so I'd rather lower that now. Just in time as well. Nice, there's a crit on the repost. Okay, so healing's starting to become more of a priority here. Um, so let's do that. Zwayne can keep himself topped up and everyone else can get healing off others. That healing is still hurting us a lot. We finished you off, that's nice. Now let's take a little time to, to heal everyone up here. Really? You get the negative one again? Could you not, sir? Uh, right. There's a crit for 22. That heals you up fully. Okay, nice. He pretty much healed up for the equivalent there. Um, we're going to try and play this out a little bit. And just just um, bide our time for a moment. 
how, I, don't, I gotta say, I don't know how you're still bleeding, dude, but you are apparently right. We'll get, end up taking another attack here, but... So, you're on 22, 23. We need to heal you up. There's a 24 heal. We're resisting the bleeds here as well, which is nice. Nice. That's great when they miss and we still get the heal from the repost. But as you can see so far, we don't need that trinket. I'll keep it on us for now, but we'll probably end up getting rid of that. As you can see for now, this this little group, it's it's a really nice movable group. I very rarely play in um, in heavy move or dance dancer comps, as a lot of people know them as. Or maybe I'm making that up, but that's that's what I've heard them called in the past. Um, the, these sort of dancing comps. Um, I, I never really liked them to start with when I first started playing this game, but I'm still... Starting to, I'm starting to realize that with the right set of people, they work extremely well. And here we're seeing that um, Zwayne's trinket here is giving us that... Um, oh, no, that's a minus 10%. I don't know why we're getting so many party surprises then. That's, that, that is surprising. Hey, her. Uh, yeah, so we'll get in there with that. And a crit as well. Great. I think that's... As long as we get speed first, that's pretty much always going to be our opener. Unfortunately, we can't hit him. We can't shadow fade from this position. So that's fine. Um, and yeah, we're just going to finish you off. Activates our opposed anyways. There's that buff. Um, and yeah, we'll just go for the heal there. So there's the five heal. Luckily, it wasn't a bleed, but it can happen. Oh, dodge and a dodge. The twofer. And he goes for him again. If he does less, if, if they hit him for less than three damage, it's pretty much a, a, a net positive for us. We did get bled there, unfortunately, so not not particularly huge. Um, let's go for this. Pick to the face is a good chance of doing good damage. Uh, we're not going to get rid of that. Hmm. Just keep this going. It does okay damage, but it heals us up and negates this bleed that we're getting right now. Um, <laughs> there you go, look at that. I do love, by the way, I do, I do actually really like the fact that this is a thing. It's an interesting little mechanic that you have to sort of play around. I think it's fun. Um, we're going to pull you forward. There you go, gets rid of the body. That's going to be, yeah, I was going to say, that's going to be a mistake, ladder. My ladder, you are going down if you try and hit Dismas here. Okay, now we can go for bleeds, and that's a huge one. Uh, very nice. We're, we're, we're essentially guaranteed to bleed no matter what their... Um, nice. No matter what their uh, resistance is. I th like, if we if we tot it up... Like, let's, ha let's have a little look-see here. So we've got 130% base, um, plus 30%, so 160%. We got 200% chance to bleed. So it would it would take something having insanely high resistance. Essentially, it would have to be a skeleton for us not to hit that. Uh, which is insane. That's that's so good. Uh, we're only going to take three more damage here. Actually, starting out, we've got very little combat. We've, we've mapped out a lot of this dungeon. And there is very, very little combat for us in this scout that we've got here, which is insanely good. Um, it, it leads it leads for a little bit of a, a less interesting dungeon, perhaps. But um, for survival's sake, it's very, very nice. Uh, it means that we can get that, that lovely trinket that we saw just a little bit easier. Uh, I have been speaking recently as well with um, TEA, who d does a lot of the diary entries, as you've seen. Um, he's recently got into modding himself, because he's uh, recently got a PC and able to actually play the game modded. And we're talking about what's going to come after this series. Um, depending on the news of Darkest Dungeon 2 by the t time the series ends, which will probably be very minimal, um, I'd probably do another series, but with a sort of upped different difficulty compared to this one. While the series is really fun, we haven't lost many heroes, and that's, like, in part due to good play, but it's also in part due to the fact that I have a few mods on that make the game easier, and the fact that, um... A lot of the modded heroes are a little bit more on the powerful side, so we're kind of playing into the strength of that right now. So, we're, we're, there's a possibility we take disease here, but I don't think these bloodsuckers, at least from what I know, have a very high chance to cause the disease, so we might be okay, at least a little bit. Um, yeah, let's just pull you. doesn't actually matter, I'm just doing it for the damage. So... These guys, these guys do have prot. Okay, we'll, 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 we'll pick to him then. That's a bit of blight coming in. The, the double dodge there, though. Gather the blood. 
So I think that, that attack there, Gather the Blood, is the only one. We did to get some Blight on us here. Oh no, we resisted. Uh, I think that one's the only one that can give us the curse. So for the most part, we should be okay. Zwayne here coming in with some huge hits. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. And as you can see, the damage in this group is, is very nice. And we can use all of our move abilities essentially without worry, which is awesome. Really, really nice. One of the biggest like things with move abilities for the most part is you they're, they're normally a little more powerful than regular moves, essentially because um when you use them, you're normally putting your party in a compromised position unless you specifically built for it. So part of that challenge or part of that inconvenience, should I say, um, of the move abilities moving your party around is completely countered by the fact that all three of our front party members are very, very easy to rearrange. Of course, we've got uh, Ryan here, which is a bit of a problem, but to be honest, Ryan can heal from any position as well, so that also doesn't really matter. Nice. Getting a lot of crits here. And we're healing up. Um, I'm just going to do this. That did way more damage than I was expecting. I was not expecting that to be that good. Um, I was hoping we'd finish you off, unfortunately not. Probably should have gone for this guy, considering. Um, we'll just finish you off, considering the prot that he has. By the way, I have to say, one thing that is definitely winning us this right now is just the amount of surprises we're getting on enemies. We are hitting every combat so far with a surprise, which is... Wow. <laughs> Doesn't happen often, and when it does, you can feel... Just how much impact it has. Um, hmm. That's not really something we need to do, is it? So we'll go for the straight up attack here. We'll lunge onto you. Drums of Doom coming in. Only one hit there, though. And it was on you. Um, okay, we're going to need some healing on, on this this Malacca here. I'm, in fact, going to get rid of some of that because that's a, in a little bit of a painful spot right now. There you go, we get our kill. And one thing I've noticed this combat, uh, we did unfortunately con uh, contract Swine Blood there, but we can get rid of that. Uh, one thing that I've noticed with this combat thus far is, oh my god, plus 25% healing skill, that's insane, um, is the everyone's targeting Zwayne, which right now for us is the best target for, for us because Zwayne has this really good repost ability that allows him to heal. Uh, so he's essentially sustaining himself without the need for the healer. Um, and everyone targeting him, I think it's because he marks himself with his... Um, he doesn't even mark himself. Okay, I don't know why. I don't know why then. But either way. Also, Ryan with this much bonus healing is in an absolutely amazing position. But there you go, you see targeting Ryan again. And it's it's it's, it's, it's so good. It's so very good. Um, we can get rid of a negative quirk here. The, we've got, I think we want to go for this dude here because he's got this um, severe mood swings. He's also got three locked in as well. So I think this is the best idea. Stress eater. Uh, that's fine. I think that's just uh, above a certain amount of stress. We consume more food, which isn't a massive deal to be honest but nice to have rid of it nonetheless uh this is a attack damage bonus i think yeah we'll, we'll definitely take that on our dismiss here until camp so we want to be avoiding camping i do want to make sure we do camp though for disease removal uh, let's actually check what did swine blood do i think i can remember but uh disease resist ah okay swine blood as long as you've got a lot of food which we do because of the higher stack limit, is actually pretty good. We might want to keep that, to be honest. Um, the food consumption being 200% higher is a lot higher, and you will have to make sure to remember that when, uh, when preparing, when grabbing provisions. But that's actually not bad. The plus 20% maximum HP and disease resist, so he's not going to get fair, the disease is, is very nice. Holy shit. Okay. Um... We all damaged up, boys. <laughs> now, I could have just stacked all of that on one person, all three of them. But I prefer, like, considering we've got three three people that are dealing pretty equal amounts of damage right now, I think it's better to uh, spread it evenly among everyone. Rather than just having one heavy hitter. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. But yeah, not much combat. I'm expecting these these remaining rooms to be quite combat focused considering. I don't actually know this for a fact, but I feel like a lot of dungeons have some sort of 
pre-mandated setting for how much combat they have in them. And so if you see this sort of layout where you get, like, no combat, then your later rooms are going to have a lot more. I might be completely wrong about that. That might be just something I've made up in my mind, but sometimes it does feel like that. If you go quite a few rooms without seeing any combat, you're going to end up coming across quite a lot. But so far, there's still not much. There's still not much. Okay, so this is our first little bit of tougher combat, mainly because we've got this guy in the back that can crit quite heavily, uh, and he's currently um, stealthed. And we've got this guy guarding as well with the extra prop, but that's why we brought Pick to the Face. That helps specifically with those sort of things, and as you can see, Piggy, Piggy getting wrecked. He's down already. And by the way, are we broken? We, have we had a single bit of combat yet where we haven't surprised them? Have we had a single one, honestly? I don't think we have, have we? We did take the bleed there. I was expecting a crit there, but... Not quite. Right, nice damage here. Nice damage again. And to finish it off, some nice damage there. And he'll be out of stealth next turn as well. Right, um... You're gonna take a lot off of... Oh. Oof. At least it didn't bleed. At least it didn't bleed. Two. Two of them. Boy, oy, oy. I'm going to get rid of that loud and we don't really need it. Uh, I will get rid of that at this point. I think it's worth getting rid of. Very nice. Very nice. What debuffs do we have right now? Ah, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. What the hell's this thing? This thing's new. The Swine Skeever. I, I think that's modded. I'm going to assume that's modded. Very interesting. Crit heal there, that's great. That's That essentially means that Nina gets all the heals coming in here. Had a kill there. She deserves all the heals. My god, woman. Uh, we'll try and get rid of the Doom Drummer pretty soon. There we go. Still no bleeds, which is great. Unfortunately, he did get the hit there. But the, the current situation we're in right now... That's a hefty hit. Ooh. Ooh. This enemy is a is a is a touch bit spoicy. A touch bit spoicy. He doesn't have much health, which is definitely how we're gonna save ourselves here. We need to heal ourselves up here. Um what what I was gonna say is our attacks are dealing such good crits, like in terms of just the chances for us to crit, that we are not really having any problem maintaining stress. Without any clear stress reduction. We're just deal like getting rid of stress with Zwayne getting the kills and everyone getting that minus two. And then just everyone critting everything. I am going to keep this guy alive one more turn, which is probably ill-advised. Um, just because I want to heal up Nina. That was lucky. Okay. It's not to be. It was not to be. <laughs> you hit her twice for the zero heal, you absolute troll. I'm surprised he's not doing that to Dismas. Why Nina? What's she ever done to you? She didn't kill your family. God damn. Ryan sure do work in mysterious ways. I mean, to be fair, to be fair to Ryan, he doesn't have full control over his abilities. He only took them on as a way to try and bring his family back. Ooh, okay. We've got Large Corpse Eater here. Not terribly difficult when there's only one other enemy with it. Um, especially if we get some hefty crits landed here. I forgot to switch everyone around, especially like that. We might be able to kill it in one turn here, you know. Aw, oh, not quite. It's going to get one go, but the thing is, its first turn is barely problematic, so it doesn't really bother me. Um... And another crit. Just the crits. The crits, boys. The crits are on fire. And the dodge... Honestly, surprising dodging and crits here is... Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The amount of surprises we're getting now is unprecedented. And crits... Just... My god. Right, eat up, fat boy. 
Sorry, Dismas. <laughs> that was a bit rude. Uh, but we are stomping through, stomping through this dungeon in a way that I wasn't expecting, but it's, it's very welcome. It's very Your welcome indeed. May we find victory. Okay, everyone's eating up. We can camp soon. The fact that we're getting the, our way through larger dungeons without the need to eat, uh, to, to uh, camp is crazy. Normally we'd be needing to camp around about now, but at the minute we're just not. I suppose we're getting lucky with, like, not running into that terrible of enemy compositions. Oh, that that's a that's a pretty that's a pretty terrible little thing there. Uh, we're gonna need to kill that guy very fast. This is this is the first bad comp, like really bad comp. We shouldn't have too much trouble with it to be honest simply because of the fact that um we got ourselves the opening turn but it could still be could still be a, a, a little bad unfortunately that doesn't activate repair because it doesn't deal any damage but that does yeah we're just getting like the most key dodges and everything like I don't know what's going on at the minute. I, I honestly can't say. I don't know why we're getting a surprise on literally every single combat thus far. Like, it's 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 kind of insane how good surprising an enemy is. Having your entire party go before them essentially means you can pretty much guarantee a kill before, or at least get like getting down to twenty five percent health before they even get a chance to attack. That's mental. Ooh, that's kind of nice. I like the idea of that. Um, ooh, baby. I'm going to get rid of um, the Onyx for that. I actually really like that. Right, we're, 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 we're pretty much... I think we're one room away from finishing the mission, then we're three rooms away from finishing the whole dungeon, which is absurd. Absurd. This has been... What the hell? Is there a bug? <laughs> why why am I surprising literally every single enemy? What's going on? Why am I why is my surprise chance so high? Like I get that I get the plus plus monster surprise from the radiant light, but even still, holy hell, it's never normally this much. Destroy. We normally get like maybe two or three a dungeon, not like nine. Also, remember that this guy has plus 30 stress, and then he keeps getting the plus 30. So he's getting, like, plus 60 stress, and he's still fine. He's still on zero stress. Just... We're all on zero stress. And we keep getting just such key dodges as well. It's bizarre. This it is bizarre. Success. Great power. I can't believe it. I genuinely can't believe it. And a tra trap dodge as well, like... Can it get any better? If only treasure could staunch the flow of other worlds... I, I just, I don't know, this mission. It's been... It's been quite lucrative, <laughs> to say the least. We will continue considering how well this is going. We'll be able to get a few extra... A few extra piles of gold. A few extra pennies along the way. Probably should have got rid of some shovels or something there, but oh well. Okay. See, one thing that I've kind of thought is maybe one of the reasons I'm doing so well is because I can carry higher stacks of tor mainly torches and food. But I don't really think it is that because within missions, the only difference it really makes is how much gold I can carry out with me. Like, normally, the stack sizes limits how many things you can take away. It doesn't really... By the way, we've got another surprise. It doesn't really limit anything to do with... Or, like, improve your standing within the mission. It's hard to say. I don't know how we keep getting surprises. I can see why I keep getting crits. Our crit, our crit chance is, like, uber mega. But... This is just... Mental. Haha! <laughs> Yet another key dodge. Also, the repose damage is ludicrous. And we keep getting crits. Oh, I love this. I love it. Oh, we finally got hit by that guy. 
I can't believe you do this to us. Okay, get you healed up. Nice. Still not blood anyone yet. Uh, Ryan has been friendly. That is a... That is a big boy here. Um, we are going to have to um, play the moving game so that Ryan can get a heal off here. Very nice. Another crit for 25. Holy hell. Dismas has embodied the power of Nil. His, um, his otherworldly brother on this mission today. He really has empowered the, the, the spirit of him. And <laughs> just he's using it to cut down everything. Damn, I was really hoping that scout there would give us um, our secret room, but unfortunately not. We have two more battles, then we're good to go. Hopefully we'll get a little bit out of that. We could snuff our light, but I kind of want our surprise chances. So that's one thing I've not been doing, by the way, like at all. I know that you can snuff your light to get bonus rewards and things. I very rarely do that. And I probably should do it a little more. This is probably going to be where we take most of our stress for this, for this entire fight. I would imagine. Let's uh, torch up while we're doing this. Yeah, well, I think we'll end up taking quite a lot of um, stress here. This guy should be dead, pretty much. Ah. Oh. Or not. Lucky us. Really? You're still not dead? God damn. <gasps> they finally hit someone with a stress dealing attack. Oh my god. I really feel like just this... This, um adventure this this whole campaign we've had very little problems with stress like there has been some close calls but we haven't had really any full party stress checks or anything like that have we we've, we've been having a, a reasonably lucky time and i do think it is luck i don't just think it is like modded heroes giving us extra bonuses and stuff i do think it's uh it's quite a bit of luck that we're just not coming across as many stress dealers as we might be otherwise things like that Nice. Oh yeah, you're dead from that, dude. I love the fact that that doesn't give us the stress. Um, let's get rid of... Okay, let's get rid of that. Last battle. In we go. Pretty tough one to start, but thank God he didn't guard the, the big boy. Um, nice. We basically just want to do what we did last time with this big boy and just get a massive crit on him. Which I think we should be able to do. He's a uh, he's beast. I thought he was El Like, how is that thing not Eldritch? Holy hell. I think, I think it was beast and Eldritch. But apparently not. That is surprising to me. Okay, this guy's going down. Pick to the face. He's pretty much done. We unfortunately get the fits there. But we got it on the right person. So the d don't worry about that. We got it on the most convenient person. Which is good. Let's pull you forward. Smack you about, and you're done. Wow, Zwayne with the final hit, and it's coming in just huge. Um, we can get rid of bandages, take that. Let's have a little look-see inside here. We got another sh um, blade. I'm probably going to take the blade, you know. We don't need them anymore. We don't need them anymore. Right, so now we'll camp. Mainly because, for one, let's uh, read up a diary entry here. Um, we have more from Tia here. This is uh, for Bethel, our man at arms. I searched the forest for nearly two weeks, finding nothing. But lo and behold, someone stumbled into town, albeit with a few more pairs of eyes than they should have. Uh, but honestly, I've given up on normalcy at all at this point. The bug person walked into town, and all of the people, uh, all people they could, could have told, I am messing this up. And of all people they could have told, they come to me and they tell me there's a corpse in the woods near here. Thought you might want to know. Ha, he doesn't know what a service he's done for me. I've run down there and sure enough, poor David with his heart torn out. 
Got you now, fucking she-devil. There will be nowhere to hide now. Oh, damn. He is... Uh, Berthold is out to get Chasey. Out to get her. I'm not surprised. He killed one of their own. Right, so here we want to be doing this, first of all. Uh, I think it was... Was it Zwayne that has the disease? No, it's not. Wait. Wait. I thought we got a disease in... Zwayne, what? Zwayne had a disease. Where's Zwayne's disease gone? <laughs> he had that one that increased his maximum HP. Zwayne, what? <laughs> I do not understand, Zwayne. I do not understand. Whatever. Strange, I guess, but... Right, prevent Knights of Ambush. Rest again. Well, let me just check here. Yeah, he doesn't have a disease anymore. Okay, either way, very, very, very good mission there. Very positive one. And I am I'm happy we took out who he did and we get this otherworldly bell, which is so good. Everyone's up to level five here. Infamous, let's like to have a good time in town. Um Okay, not terrible. We're starting to build up our money as well. Build it up in a really positive way. Oh damn. A crawling chaos. The fanatic will stalk parties with infected heroes. Ooh, we've got the fanatic coming up. Right, let's ooh, there's some, quite a lot of good trinkets here. Let's have a little look see, shall we? Um running nah. Uh plus dodge with minus crit and accuracy sounds terrible. Um, we've got that already. I am glad we just talked about David. He is, uh, unfortunately not with us anymore. Um, do we have that already? I feel like we do. The Lucky Bracer. Oh, wait. First of all, let's, uh, de-trinket. And sort. Yeah, do we, do we have that already? Dai should should have that, the Pit Fighters gloves. I'm not exactly sure where where they're gonna be. Hmm. I can't see them right now. They could be a valuable addition as well. They could very well be a valuable addition. I just don't want to end up buying them if we've got them already. I don't see them. Let's find Dai and then it'll be a bit easier to see. Where are you, Dai? There you are. Yeah, let's just quickly, quickly check. So, okay, we do already have them. I felt like we did. I just wanted to make sure. Um, 35 prot in hallway. That's kind of interesting. Kind of get behind that. I don't know. May, I'm not going to buy that for now, but that's, that's kind of an interesting idea. We're getting up there in the money as well, which is really nice. Um, we've got another silver syringe here, which is extremely tempting to buy another one of those, because they're very, very good. Um, Leper with a damage and crit. Musketeer with healing skill and um, cure blight. That's very good. Um, plus 30 virtue chance on the Crusader. Wow. I, this is one that I don't get. How on earth is that worth 25 grand? <laughs> Plus four. Death Sword is this an eight maximum HP. It should be like 20 and 10. Uh, but otherwise, nothing else there we really want. Let's check our stage coach. See if we've got anyone coming in that we want to uh, move on up. I don't think we do here. I think everyone here is leveled up. Yes, they are. Um, no one there that we need to be bringing up to speed. But this has been a very good episode. We do have a few more Dire Ranges here. Um... We have one from Clint, our bounty hunter, um, and he says, How long has it been? Because the days and weeks blend together, and all I remember are the days I get to fight. My memory of the past couple of years consists of only the blood I've spilled, which is fine, really, but it's a little scary. I feel like I should be doing more. I don't even know what to do in my free time. And to ask someone that might be off put uh, to ask someone that might be off putting. I think I'm just waiting. If all I remember is killing, then I need to find something worthy to kill. All the ramble. All the rabble. 
It's still heroic work. Who will remember it? Only me, apparently. But there is a dark, dangerous place sitting on the peak of that cliff that looms over us. There is something in there worth slaying. I can feel it. And I am ready. So Clint actually hinted in my previous diary entry that I wrote for him about th feeling like he was ready and that he could feel something. And and he, that's the, the development on top of this. And we got our final one for Nevada, our butcher. Making the plans now. I've got a few friends... Um, I've got a f I've got friends running to this hamlet, ready to fight the comet. But what's more, there are men and women here ready to fight it as well. I'm going to assemble a team as soon as I can. We'll be wounded, bled, poisoned, diseased, and the horrors of that place will get us, surely. I will need to uh, prepare a team that can handle anything sent to us. I'd like to be part of it, so I'm not just a general heir uh, or something sitting back and letting them fight for me. How far can we get is the real question, and we will have to see. Ooh, damn. Very good. Very good diary entry there from T here. But yep, that's going to end it off for this episode. We are in a very, very good position so far. Leveling people up pretty much every episode. Getting um, a good amount of level 5s, which we really need. We need to be bringing almost everyone up to level 5 very shortly. And we're, we're slowly but surely getting there. Of course, the leveling up process is an arduous and slow one. And we do have to go through it. But either way, hope you guys have enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.